Hello, my well-educated minnow friends. Welcome back to Menopause and our in-depth tutorial series on management of your menopause your way. For weeks now, I've been giving you all these tutorials on hormones, on estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. And for each of those, I've showed you foods, I've showed you herbs, I've showed you botanicals, I've showed you bioidenticals, and I've showed you synthetic pharmaceutical products for every single one of them, right? Well, today, I'm going to make some general statements about all products for menopause. I think it's important to put things into perspective. And that's what we're going to do with all these hormones today, kind of in a summary fashion. Now, none of this material is in the book or in the notes, and you won't need anything but just to sit and watch and listen. This lesson is really easy. As you know, I have a completely unbiased attitude toward all of this stuff, and my goal is just to teach you everything so that you can tailor the information to yourself, and then you can make your own choices. So, you've seen that I have shown you a variety of products. Well, I'm not a spokesperson for any of them. Or you could say that I'm a spokesperson for all of them. And I'm even a spokesperson for those I don't even show. But you see, I'm not trying to sell anything but education. So I show you representative products, but there are many that I don't show you. And that's because there's no way I can show them all to you. Now, you might wonder, why can't I show them all to you? Well, first, that would make for a really boring tutorials. <laughs> and secondly, I simply don't have access to all of them. So for everything I show you, there are multiple other items by many other names that are identical or similar products, okay? And you may not be able to find precisely the ones I show you. And I'm not promoting precisely the ones I show you. I'm just teaching you about what's out there and that way, if you want to take advantage of anything, you'll have an idea of what to look for. You see, where you live, you may have completely different brands than the ones I show you. Or, you might fi have difficulty finding an item, period. I showed you a variety of dietary products with hormonal effects. Well, I can tell you, based on traveling and living in different countries, Availability of foods like tempeh, tofu, and soy products varies widely. You see, I'm vegan, so I actively go and search for some of these things. And they constitute a pretty large portion of my protein intake. So there are times when I think I'm going to be protein deficient because I'm having trouble finding them. For instance, Argentina is the third largest producer of soy products in the world. Yet, when I was living there, I had a lot of difficulty finding soy products. I mean, it's a meat-eating country. <laughs> so they may produce soy, but they certainly don't eat it. <laughs> so eventually, I found a manufacturer of textured soy protein. And so I was so excited. I thought, oh gosh, something I can eat. So I was so excited, I ordered some. But this was in my first month in Argentina. And the Spanish in Argentina is quite different than the Spanish in Europe. And I had a little bit of trouble understanding everything over the phone when I had a conversation in order to buy these products. I understood most of it, but not the specifics. But I did definitely understand that I had to buy a minimum of two. So <laughs> I thought, no problem. So I ordered two, and they said they delivered. And when it arrived, I was shocked. It was two huge bags, 33 pounds each. <laughs> and both bags consisted of dried soy pellets. <laughs> See those things in my hand? They look kind of like hamster food. Well, they were dried soy pellets. It just wasn't exactly what I expected. <laughs> 
So then, I also showed you a bunch of herbal and botanical products. Every herbal or botanical product I showed you has a long, complicated species name that I didn't bother to share with you because you probably would have really freaked if you had to listen to me call them all by those names. And many herbs and botanicals have a whole bunch of different names. Availability of these products will vary greatly depending on where you live and on how much your culture relies on herbal and botanical products. Having lived in all these other countries, I can tell you that availability and forms of these products differs quite a bit from country to country. I found a whole lot more raw, dried herbal and botanical products in South Africa and Argentina than I did in Europe or Canada. For example, Here's a photo of an African healer who was selling his herbs directly in front of my apartment in Cape Town. Note the sharp contrast between the Mercedes and the primitively burlap-clad healer with his goods laid out on the pavement. And believe it or not, we lived in a very upscale Jewish neighborhood. So you just try to find raw products like that in the US. I mean, and you might be able to find them but they aren't going to be on the street outside your front door. <laughs> and if you happen to be in Morocco, you can find everything from readily available African Viagra like this to colorful, natural, raw herb shops that will take your breath away because the herbs are so beautiful like this. And you'll recall video tutorial 21 when I took you with me on a shopping spree for alternative and complementary products at the Diskim Pharmacy in Cape Town. There were long rows of every kind of product you can imagine. I showed you pills and creams, tinctures, teas, salts, you name it. Here's a picture of me buying loads of those products there. And that's my pharmacist friend Magda. She was the head pharmacist there and she was getting a big kick out of all this stuff that I was buying. <laughs> we were great friends. <laughs> and some co people commented in those videos saying that they wish they had something similar where they live. And some of you commented and asked me if I actually take all that stuff. <laughs> I was buying them for you, not for me. <laughs> I have taken a bunch of stuff. I have used a bunch of it. But the point is not to show you what I do, but to show you what you can do if you want to. And that's why I show you everything in every category and give you as much information as I can on all of it. So depending on where you live, you may or may not have access to a vast array of herbal and botanical products like that. And then next, I taught you about bioidentical products from a compounding pharmacy. And I showed you all sorts of products that look like this. And you discovered that there can be both physical and moral barriers between you and compounded bioidenticals. See, you may not have a compounding pharmacy near you, or you may not have a healthcare provider who's willing to write a prescription for them. And even if you have both of those things, your insurance company may not pay for them. But you also learned that there are some bioidentical products that are sold over the counter and others that are pharmaceutical products. And then I finally showed you all sorts of synthetic pharmaceutical products, but by no means did I show you all of them. You see, I don't pick and choose in order to show you my favorites. I simply do what I can to give you a broad education as to what's available in the pharmaceutical realm. But there's so much more that I didn't show you. First, there are multiple different manufacturers for most categories of drugs. You see, when one company comes up with something new and nifty, sometimes the others follow. So there are a bunch of estrogen patches, pills, and topical formulations. There might be even generic brands of some of the pharmaceuticals that I showed you and others that I didn't. See, most pharmaceuticals have a generic option once they've been on the market for about seven years. And depending on where you live, you may or may not even have the same items available to you as the ones I showed. Or you may actually have the same products 
from one country to another, but they may go by different names. Or the drug company may go by a different name. For example, here I have Primpro. This is Primpro made by Wyeth in the United States. It's Primpro 0.625 milligrams of estrogen and 2.5 milligrams of progesterone. And here is the very same thing from South Africa, but it's called Primel. It has the exact same ingredients, but the name is different, and it's by a different company called Pfizer. Okay, so if you were to go looking for Primpro in South Africa, you wouldn't find it. You would find this one. So sometimes the product is available and you just need to know what it is you want as opposed to looking for a certain brand name. Here's another example. This is Combi Patch, and this is 50 milligrams of estrogen and 250 of progesterone in a patch, okay? And the drug company that makes this one is Novartis. But look at this. This is Everell Conti, and it's the exact same thing from South Africa. And the drug company is Janssen. So you might find the same thing by different names and by different companies. I'm showing you these things so that you don't get confused or think you're deprived if you can't find the exact thing I show you. You might actually have it under a different name, or it might even be generic. So just know that I'm not promoting anything, and I'm just educating you so that you know what's out there. And no matter what, there will always be new drugs on the market. And depending on when you watch these videos, there may be something available that wasn't available when I shot the video. You see, as it is, I shoot these videos about four or five months before we air them. So I've done them four or five months ago when you see them even on the day they come out. <laughs> see, and that's enough time for some of the drugs or the information to change. Of course, I'll update things as we go along, but at the very least, watch these videos in order, please, and keep watching them. <laughs> so the take home message is that there are even more options than what I show you. And you just have to know the basics about what you want and what you don't want. And with the education you're getting here with me, you're gonna be able to find the healthcare provider who can give you what you're looking for. And you will be armed with a fund of knowledge that will definitely impress anyone. You see, eventually we'll be embarking on tutorials for each and every symptom of menopause. And when I do those symptoms, I'm gonna explain everything about the symptoms and I'm gonna give you every single management option in every single category for each symptom, one by one. And the reason I spent all this time going through all these hormones and their sources is so that you can apply the knowledge I've just already given you to the information when I designate hormone therapy of some type as a management option for a symptom. Then you'll know all the background behind that hormone as opposed to having to learn it all over again. See, you need to have the background education to know what I'm talking about later on. That's one of the reasons I plead with you to watch the videos in order. And then if you have a symptom from which you want to use a hormone, you might want to go back to that previous video that talks about the hormone that you want to use. And that way you can review the details. So, I just want you to understand how these videos work. We're building, I'm giving you foundation, so that then you can apply it any way you want and you can manage your menopause any way you want. That is my goal. Your opinion is the only one that matters. Okay, so I hope that helps you as you navigate your options. That's the end of my time with you here today and I'll see you again in a week. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I have to tell you guys, I am not a social media person, so you need to know that now that I'm in Houston, I have this team that helps me with my social media, and you know, I'm old, but they live in a whole different world, so they're always saying things like, Barbie, take more pictures of yourself. I say, take pictures of myself? Why would I take pictures of myself? <laughs> and they say, well, people, they, they'll want to know what you're doing, and I think, 
Why would they want to know what I'm doing? They say, well, because they want to see what's going on in your life. And I say, well, my life isn't that exciting. <laughs> so they tell me, oh, yes, they want to know all this stuff. And I think, oh, I'm pretty boring. <laughs> So anyway, I have social media, but I have to be prodded and prompt a whole lot to do anything for it. <laughs> it's just not my world. So anyway, follow me. <laughs> After all their trouble to get me to do this stuff, follow me on social media, media Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. <laughs> and I'll see you again here in a week. <laughs> Bye.